Revisiting the Chinese transcriptions of Pew, Mark Miyake, COS 31, 2022. What is Pew? Pew is the modern Burmese exonym for an extinct Southeast Asian language. There are three types of evidence for Pew. First, there are epigraphic texts in a unique Indic script. A sample is shown on the right. Second, there are Tang Dynasty Chinese transcriptions of Pew. There are Pew borrowings into Burmese. The evidence for Pew has severe limitations. First, the known corpus of Pew is very small. Second, there are few multilingual texts. Third, very little of those texts have been deciphered. Fourth, very little basic vocabulary in Pew has been identified. Pew is primarily attested in inscriptions from between about 500 and 1300 CE located in what is now Burma, particularly in the ruins of the first millennium CE walled cities now known as Sri Kshetra and Halim. What happened to the Pew? In his article, The Ancient Pew, G. H. Luce wrote, This gracious civilization came to a sudden end in 832 AD, says the Manchu. Nanjiao, or tribes under Nanjiao, plundered the Pew capital, taking prisoner over 3,000 persons. They banished them into servitude at Jedong, i.e. Yunnanfu, Nanjiao's eastern capital and told them to fend for themselves. Their sons and grandsons are still there, i.e. in 863 AD, subsisting on fish and insects. These are the remnants of their tribe. G. H. Luce, the author of the previous passage, was also the first modern scholar who wrote about what I will call the Twelve Pew Songs. In his book, Phases of Prebagang Burma, he wrote, On their way to the Chinese capital in 801 to 802, the Pew Embassy passed through Chengdu. The governor took note of their songs. The twelve songs were all on Buddhist themes. The Twelve Pew Songs are noted in the Chinese history book, New Book of Tang, which provides for 11 of those songs, a title in Chinese, a title in Pew in Chinese transcription, and a short comment. For example, for Pew Song 7, there is a title in Chinese, literally Dhyana Settling, i.e. Meditation. There is then a title in Pew in Chinese transcription. This transcription was roughly pronounced something like Che Lam.
I use capital letters for reconstructions of the readings of these transcriptions instead of IPA, which would imply a precision that is impossible. These transcriptions are vague approximations of Pew at best. Lastly, there is a short comment on the song. The silence of leaving the mundane. There are many problems with interpreting the Chinese transcriptions of Pew. First, are the Chinese titles accurate translations of the Pew titles? Maybe. Both classical Chinese and Pew have many monosyllabic morphemes, and the number of syllables in the Chinese and Pew titles are roughly the same. In theory, the Chinese translations could match the Pew originals word for word allowing for differences between Chinese and Pew syntax. For example, Chinese adjective noun instead of Pew noun adjective order. Second, what kind of Chinese underlies the transcriptions of the Pew titles? Probably the capital dialect of Middle Chinese, characterized by prenasalization. For instance, the Pew word Buddha, Buddha is transcribed as Mborda in Song 1 with the prenasalized stop Mb. In a dialect without prenasalization, these characters would have been read something like motda with a m that would not match pu b very well. Third, how well could Chinese transcribe pu? The short answer is not very. A longer answer is that the Chinese script is not an infinite syllabary. It can only represent syllables present in Chinese. Few syllables not present in Chinese can only be approximated. Chinese circa 800 CE lacked the rich onsets of Pew. For instance, implosive mba complex onsets like tda and voiceless sonorants like ng and hr. Fourth, how well do the Chinese translations match the pew titles of the songs? The case of song one is straightforward. The pew title was approximately something like Buddha B. Buddha is known from pew script texts as the word for Buddha. So by process of elimination, the last syllable, something like B, must mean seal. The Chinese title is literally Dhyana Settling, i.e. Meditation. The Pew title was approximately something like Che Lam. Lam may be the Pew word for road, which is known from Pew script texts.
from what is known of Pew syntax, the element before lam is probably a noun. So perhaps che lam is a compound of an unknown noun che plus lam meaning road equaling meditation. Then there is the case of Song 12. It has one Chinese title, Cleansing Afflictions. But it also has a second Chinese title, Read Organ Dance. Yet, it has only one transcription of a pew title, pronounced approximately something like Runda. Does this pew Runda correspond to affliction cleanse in pew word order or read organ dance. Another problem with trying to match Chinese translations to pew titles is that it is a bad sign that words that occur twice in the Chinese titles do not correspond to the same syllable in the transcriptions of pew. For instance, Song 3 is titled White Lark in Chinese, so one might expect the pew title to contain a word for white in it. It is unclear if the third character of the transcription is part of the pew title or not. But even though the Chinese title for Song 4, White Crane Rambles, also contains the word for white, the pew title for Song 4 has no syllables in common with the pew title for Song 3. So what was the pew word for white? Every song has its own set of problems, and I cannot go into all of them here. In conclusion, at least a dozen new words of pew have been identified by comparing the transcriptions of pew titles with their apparent translations in Chinese. None of these new words, unfortunately, are basic vocabulary. For instance, mbi meaning seal from Song 1. A word starting with the syllable rong meaning banquet in Song 12. And a word ending in the syllable mba meaning music also from Song 12. Why did I write ellipses and question marks in the words rong for banquet in song 12 and mba music in song 12? Ellipses and question marks in parentheses are necessary due to the problem of word boundaries. The pew title for Song 12 is four syllables long, rong tong kang ba, approximately, with the gloss banquet music. The word boundaries are unknown. Where does the pew word for banquet end, and where does the pew word for music begin? 
What is known of Pew syntax allows me to reconstruct the word order banquet plus music. Banquet must begin with rong and music must end with mba. But nor do I know if the third syllable, gang, is also part of the word for banquet. However, I don't know if the penultimate syllable, kang, is part of the word for music. Nor do I know if the antepenultimate syllable, tsong, is part of the word for music. I suspect the transcription, mba, which is either for the word for music or the last syllable of the word for music represented a pew syllable ba with an implosive b from an earlier pre-pew ma with a nasal m cognate to old Chinese kma to dance. Not much can be squeezed out of the titles of 12 songs. One of the pew songs has no surviving pew title. But every little bit counts. I wish to thank SEALS for hosting my Pew Pentology for the past several years. First, my talk on Pew Numerals in 2016. Then my talk on Pew Phonology in 2017. My talk on Pew Grammar in 2018. My talk on Pew Prehistory last year. And now my talk on Pew Song Titles in Chinese Transcription. Perhaps next I will cover other Chinese transcriptions of Pew. Thank you for watching.